Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Cohen with Urology Care Alliance, Lawrenceville. Robotic surgery has truly revolutionized medicine and surgical interventions. And it's really every different type of surgical field has benefited with the advent of robotic surgery. So I want to take it some time to go into the advantages for our, our patients, our urology patients, and the different types of procedures that we do. We use robotic surgery primarily when we need to reconstruct and do complex procedures, such as operating on the prostate for prostate cancer, or operating on a kidney for kidney cancer, or reconstructing the kidney should it be blocked. There are significant advantages with doing robotic surgery. The other types of way to do surgery would be either with an open incision or laparoscopic. Laparoscopic are small incisions, but it's essentially using chopsticks in order to operate. Robotic surgery with the new technology allows you basically to get your hands and use instead of chopsticks, but you're using at the end of the chopsticks are essentially hands that allow you to do what you would do with your hands but now really, really tiny hands inside a patient's body. This allows us to use very small incisions instead of large ones. It also significantly decreases post-operative pain for patients. Also, the blood loss is significantly less using robotic surgery. Utilizing the robot for prostate cancer has truly been revolutionary. It's allowed us to really get to a space that's difficult to access essentially very easily. And the way that we do that, the problem with where the prostate is located is that you have the pubic bone and you can't get right through the pubic bone, you have to go under it. So anatomically it's difficult to access. So robotics has truly allowed us to bring our eye underneath that area so that we could get a close-up view of the prostate. So let me talk a little bit about the anatomy of the prostate, the bladder, and how robotics truly makes it possible to remove the prostate and then to reconstruct everything. Here's a model of the male anatomy. Over here is the bladder. The urethra is the tube where the urine drains through, right through the middle. The prostate sits like a donut at the base of the bladder, and the urethra actually goes right through the middle. These two dots right here, that's where the urine comes out from the kidney. Those are called the ureteral orifices. As many people hear about some of the potential complications with operating on the prostate may potentially be erectile dysfunction. The reason for that is the nerves or the neurovascular bundle that supplies the nerves and, and the vascular supply lies over here right on the prostate on both sides. So what robotic surgery allows us to do is to operate here and to spare the nerves in a very, very precise manner. So what we do, whether the procedure is done as an open approach, laparoscopic, or robotically, the concept of a robotic prostatectomy is to essentially cut right here between the bladder and the prostate, and then to cut over here at the apex of the prostate so that you have the urethra left over here, the bladder up over here. What we also do, in particular with robotics, is we're able to precisely preserve the neurovascular bundle on both sides of the prostate. We then remove the prostate, and we're left with the bladder, the urethra down here, and the neurovascular bundle on either side. Robotics allows us to then reconnect the urethra to the bladder neck in a circular manner, making what would otherwise be a complex type of reconstruction a lot easier. In addition to using the robot to treat the prostate, we also use robotic surgery for kidney cancer. The kidney is in a difficult location, unfortunately. It's in the back, it's surrounded by the ribs, so the, in order to access the kidney, it's difficult. However, robotic surgery has truly made it a lot easier to operate on the kidney without having to make a big incision and without having to remove a rib. Therefore, patients do very well after robotic surgery on the kidney. Let me take a moment to show you a diagram of the kidney and how we use the robot in order to operate on the kidney. 
The robot allows us to make small incisions and just to operate on the kidney cancer itself without having to remove the entire kidney. Let me take a moment to explain to you the anatomy. Here's the artery, and there's usually just one artery going to the kidney and one vein bringing the blood back. Here's the kidney itself with the drainage of the urine here in yellow. Up here is a picture of where a typical kidney cancer may be located. So instead of having to cut over here, the artery and vein, and remove the kidney, we can now just remove part of the kidney. The way we do this is we have to dissect and free up the whole kidney. We then have to dissect the artery and the vein and visualize the urinary tract here so it doesn't get injured during the procedure. What we then do is we have to put a clamp on the artery and then also sometimes on the vein. This temporarily stops the blood flowing to the kidney and allows us to operate. What we then do is we basically just cut out the tumor over here. Once that's gone and in a bloodless field again because we put a clamp on the blood supply, it allows us then to reconstruct the kidney, put it back together, and then to unclamp the artery in the vein. This truly has provided significant benefit to patients because usually in just one or two days, they're able to leave the hospital essentially pain-free and doing very well. Thank you very much.